Welcome back, everyone, to It's After Hours, only on the After Hours YouTube channel. And now joining me here as she is getting ready to do some trips because a lot of companies want to shoot this woman. A lot of people are, are looking at her. She's in demand, and we are excited to have her on the show. I give you one of the top rising MILF performers in the business. I give you Lily James. Uh, Lily, so let's start off here. So you're going out to California. You have a bunch of shoots lined up. What is that like when... You're in demand, but you know, you but people are calling you and you know, or your agency going, We want to shoot her, we want to, you know, do work with her. We are that big of fans of hers. Yeah, it's exciting because, um, <clears throat> you know, it's due to all the COVID and everything, it's been a little slow. Um, but, um, but I think I'm getting more known now because I just signed with Next Level at the end of uh, last year, at the end of August. So I started filming for with that agency um, in October, and so it's uh, but it's been going. They've been uh, doing well, uh, getting uh, me shoots and everything like that. But it seems like it is here recently. I am my name is getting out there, and I'm getting more known. So what is it, how tough was it for you this past year? Because you have family, you're you you have, you're also a husband. Yes. And yet you're in the Midwest. So you're, it's not like you're in California. It's not like you're in Florida. You're sort of trapped, you know, throughout the industry. So how tough was it for you when, you know, there's shutdowns, you can't travel and you're sitting there going, okay, I have no content trade. I have no shoots lined up. I got to get creative here. I got to do something here. So how tough was it? And how, how do you sort of, you know, keep ahead of everything when basically the industry for a couple months was shut down completely? Right. Um, yeah, I actually I <clears> also <throat> am a cam model. I'm on cam for Streammate. So when I'm not filming, um, when I'm not filming in California, um, I um, actually do uh, do cam. Now, how does that work? And how tough is it sometimes when, let's face it, it's like one, putting one little kid in a room full of 50 puppies. Everybody's, you know, trying... Everybody wants to be petted and have attention, you know, shower with love. And you're going, okay, one at a time. No, you know, don't just throw questions, you know, comments here, questions. You know, one at a time, line up, one at a time here, people. <laughs> right. I like it. It's been fun. I've been doing cam for uh, a year and a half. And, um, but I, I, I do well with it. I uh, enjoy it. Um, I like Streammate. I like the way they have their platform set up. Um so um, it's it's really it's uh, it's not too bad. I mean, I, I I like it. I I I handle it well. You know, I've got sometimes I've got like um, ten to fifteen guys in my room, uh, all wanting to talk. So I'm I'm standing there trying to answer all their questions and everything like that. So trying to give everybody attention. <laughs> so how do you because because there's so many people do this so. How do you separate yourself from everybody else? Like, what do you do differently so that people go, oh, we want to be on her cam show. We want to do, we want to participate with her. Ooh, she is somebody that we want to start following. <laughs> right. Um, I think what I, I get, um, a lot of guys are telling me that, um, that I, uh, <laughs> this is going to sound crazy, but it seems like, they say that I'm nicer to them than some of the models on there. And they're happy to see someone my age on there and that I will talk to them, take the time to talk to everyone. And I'm just really nice because I, that's how I am. I just treat people how I want to be treated. So I um, just try to be nice to everyone and, um, and everything. And I just want to make them happy because they're there to get satisfaction. So. <laughs> so now you guys are doing this here i'm guessing you also have clips for sale you have many vids you have an only fans yes, and as we mentioned I... before you you can't shoot when there's when there's that when there was that pandemic because hell you know people can't travel so what did you do differently and how tough was it you know shooting content when you can't shoot with other people you know nobody's traveling you're going okay i gotta get creative here i gotta do some st some stuff different yeah, um, the, the only I've been uh, doing the um, 
shooting content when I go out to um, California to film. I've been shooting content and I was shooting a lot of content at that time. I've got, um, and when I, you know, I um, travel to Nevada too to film, there's some people that live there and I shoot content with them. So I, I do, I'm able to, I am able to shoot some content for my mini vids and for my OnlyFans. Um, and I also, I'm um, looking at, um, I do have some friends um, in my uh, hometown that, um, that said that they are interested to shoot content with me. So um, I, uh, I haven't uh, filmed anyone yet in that uh, respect, but um, it is an option for me to do that. I, um, I haven't done that yet though. <laughs> so when you shoot with other people, what do you look for? I mean, cause when you shoot for companies, you're basically given all well, the talent. That's it. But companies control everything. Only fans, many bids. You're the, you basically, as I say, you like you, you are, you will shop for the groceries you'll cook the meal and you'll serve a dish. What mm -hmm. do you look for in men and women? Like what turns you on when you work with girls and guys? Um, I, what turns me on, um, a lot of, um, a lot of the guys that, um, I don't, I, I think what I like is people that are, um, nice and respectful more, um, their attitude. Um, cause I like all, I mean, I like, I like everyone. I like all different guys. I'm, um, and all different girls, um, I don't, I haven't made any content with any girls. I do want to do that. I have uh, spoke to one girl that, but she's out in California. So I got to try and figure out a way to, to make content with her. But, um, you know, I just, I, I, I like a lot of people. I'm like, I, I don't, I'm not very particular about, um, um, about the person that I make content with. I mean, as long as, I mean, they're in decent shape and, um, and nice and uh, respectful more, their attitude, I think, um, is more what I like. With all, now, when you shoot these with girls and guys, uh, is, it e is it easier to shoot with girls? Or is it easier when you're on set shooting with girls and guys because you know, with a guy, it's he's the aggressor. He's the one in charge where if you're shooting with another girl, you can play around. You know, you're a tall woman. So, you know, you can be maybe the aggressor. You can be the one who is, you know, sort of dominating a woman. Right, right. Um, well, yeah. Uh, yeah, usually it is the, you know, on set and everything. It usually is the guy more of the aggressor and everything like that. Um, I'm not, I'm not a real aggressive type person, um, but uh, I, sometimes I do take on that role, um, be, like when I'm filming with, uh, particularly with younger girls and stuff. So um, in that, <coughs> that role, I do, um, you know, somewhat take control and everything like that. Um, All this is going as we spit. Once again, we are proud to have here on the show none other than Miss Lily James. Now, so take, take me back to your first shoot ever. What was it like? How nervous were you? And when did you realize, okay, we, this is real. It's going down. I'm going to get naked. I'm going to have sex. There's all these people watching. And, oh, my God. Mr. Jones, the, the next door neighbor is going to be watching this year. Oh, crap. I can't leave the house now without him, you know, Googling me. <laughs> yes. Uh, my my first uh, was a set. Um, I did three videos set for the Score Studio in Miami, and um, that was my first. Um, yeah, I was really nervous <laughs> the first time when I walked in. I wasn't sure. I didn't know what to expect, um, but uh, they were great. Um, the guy, the director uh, that was filming that and, and the talent that I was with was great. Um, 
they, they were all, it was an awesome experience. And I'm like, man, I could really, I really like this. I really want to see, you know, about um, doing more films and everything. I think I could do this. So <clears throat> that's why it, that was three years ago. And so uh, last year, I, I decided last summer that I think I'm ready to step into it and try it full time. And then that's when I, um, I was, you know, talking to next level and stuff <coughs> like that. And then that's when I signed with them to go ahead and get represented by an agency. But, um, but yeah, it was a great experience. The score, stu the score studio, the score group is great. I, I I had no issues with any of the talent, with the director, no one. It was great. Great experience. Now, have people recognized you yet? I mean, have you, has it happened yet where you've gone to, let's say, dinner or you've gone to a club and next thing you know, you're like, oh, my God, this guy's staring at me. Does he know? Has he seen yeah. my videos? No, Does he realize I who I am? I haven't had anyone walk up to me or say anything to me saying that they recognize me, but I did last summer, someone, when I walked off, asked someone else uh, that was standing there, is she a porn star? But they never said it to my face. <laughs> so like but I've never had that experience yet. I, I don't know if it's going to happen or when it's going to happen. I'm, I'm sure, I guess it will happen. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but um but uh, but I haven't had anyone walk up to me and say they uh, they recognize me. With uh, as you said, with all this going on here, with you know, your many vids, your OnlyFans, your shoots, uh, you know everything going on, it's a full time job. I mean, literally a full time job. You're because if you're not shooting on set, you're at home shooting, and then you're editing, then you're you know, networking, you're setting up shoots, you're collecting paperwork, you're filing this stuff here. Mm -hmm. How tough is it, you know, doing all this and having a, you know, dealing with family and also being married when this is your baby, this is your, you know, your new, you know, proud little baby uh, boy or girl, but you can call it, but needs to be fed, petted, given attention to 24 seven. And well, everybody else comes second. Right. I know. Yeah. It's, it's been a learning experience for sure. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been difficult, but, um, I've been able to manage, um, to try and, uh, to, to film cause I travel, you know, to film. And so then I come back home and, um, spend time with my husband and family. And, uh, and then I'm also trying to cam too, cause I'm trying to that's my main source of income. If I'm not filming is on cam. So I try and do that too. So I'm, I'm like, I'm going nonstop pretty much. I have a lot, a lot on my plate and I just, but I, I've been able to manage there. It, it is been difficult, but I always try and find time, you know, for uh, my husband and family. Cause to me, that's uh, first and that's really important to me. How does he handle it? And how do you guys separate it? Because most people think, you know, oh, you're having sex with somebody. That means you love them. It's like, no, no, no. Sex and love are different. So how does he handle what you do? How yeah, does he, he handle the schedule? Yeah. And how do you two still find time to have just, you know, this passionate relationship when, as I said, you have five different jobs. They all, you're all, you know, you're always on the phone and there, there's times you just don't feel sexy. There's times you just don't want to have sex. You're like, I just want to take a nap. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, well, we do, we make time. We make time. I uh, find it that very important, uh, especially having dinner. Um, we spend, you know, time at dinner and then we find time um, for private time and stuff like that. Um, I, you have to, you have to make time in order to, uh, for the relationship, uh, you know, uh, it's very important to me. And um, so it's a priority and, um, but also filming and uh, doing everything else is very important too. But um, to me, you know, I will, um, you know, I, I make it a priority for, my husband and my family 
And, but we, we seem to, he seems to be um, dealing with it, with it very well. Um, and we, we've been learning along the way because this is the first time that I've had to travel so much and be away from home. And uh, so he's, he's learned to cope with that. Um, but he really enjoys me doing this um, and everything he likes. He likes watching me and stuff, so. <laughs> Now, because he's been a good husband, I got to ask, do you have any surprises for him? I mean, is there a plan for one day to bring home one of your, you know, your adult performers, uh, female and go, hey, honey, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy birthday. Here's your present. You, me, yeah. her. And well, let's just get creative. <laughs> yeah, that would be that would be awesome. I don't have that in the plan and any kind of plan yet. Um, but if I can do that, that would be awesome. <laughs> We got to wrap this up. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to have on the show one of the hottest MILFs in the business. She, you know, she's going to be in LA. You're going to be seeing more shoots of her. We're excited. I give you the sexy, the beautiful, but the humble and classy. I give you Lily James. Uh, Lily, before I let you go, where can fans check you out at? Where is, you know, the Twitter page, Instagram, mini vids, the, the cam network, and also the uh, OnlyFans? Like, where can they uh, check it out at? Yes, um, on Twitter, um, Lily James XXX. Um, on mini vids, if you just look up, uh, put in minivids.com and uh, search my name, Lily James, uh, you can find me that way. And OnlyFans, the same way, OnlyFans.com, and then put in Lily James, and you can find my uh, stuff there. Um, and I, I don't have Instagram at this time. So in uh, and on Streammate, I'm on Streammate, uh, Streammate.com. And I, and, um, I think Streammate is connected through Pornhub. So if uh, anyone goes on Pornhub and goes into the live models, click on that. I think that directs you straight into Streammate. And um, you can see me. I'm Lily James. The number four, the letter U, and the number two. So that's my name on Streammate. Lily James for you too. <laughs> Lily James, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we are proud to have her on the show. Uh, you're going to see a lot of big things coming up from her in the next couple of months. We come back, but we got a lot more going on only on After Hours, only on the After Hours YouTube channel. 